Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good morning. We are going to be doing some more of the world event that's going on. Also seeing if we can get the pit bosses done. We need the legendary chests in order to advance to chapter 3, so we'll get right into it. Uh, I was checking out the chat before and it was saying that <clears throat> maybe Spider is probably a better warlord for the Misty Overwatch rather than the Pirate. Uh, we shall find out. We did about 600 the last time we fought them. And uh, the Shamunas that they were summoning were the most damaging of the units. So let's see if we can uh, come up with a strategy uh, around. Uh, so let's go. Making sure that uh, we have the right stuff here as well. I think one of our bonuses actually slid off. So in here, this one, yeah, this one's going to be over in about hours we'll just activate this we'll activate this one here with the attack boost to our range heroes for another seven days now that's fine because after hit which expires in about two days our tower will be next so we'll have the boost ready for when that event comes up anything else okay all right Covering before, whenever one of their units dies, another unit will get extra attack every fourth turn. Their units will get evasion, and then every sixth turn, we'll take damage for every one of our ranged units on the field. So we need to control the amount of ranged units we have, and then also control the amount of units they have. If they have two or more floating on a turn, that's going to be bad for us, so we want to quick clear them as quickly as possible. And then also make sure that we kill them before they get the evasion on the turn counter. All right, uh, so let's see, in terms of stats, we are going to be summoning this unit has good attack, good defense. These are some of their abilities over there. A little bit of heat, and we'll summon right here. Uh, as again, we're summoning typically within the two uh, the middles here so that we can either use it to block or we can use it to, uh, we can have a unit come in front of it in case we do. Let's see our buildings, health, Block. So that we just transform, so that's not good for us. Nothing there. We're gonna continue on. We're gonna use this unit. We're gonna summon it behind this building. It has good health. Also, it deals damage whenever we summon one of our units. And actually, we're going to depending upon what happens here, we will actually do the boost in game so that we can have more of their ability income. As you can see there, damage going on. Uh, we want to save our poison for the next couple of rounds, uh, just because they're going to get evasion. Let's see poison here. Well, that that. I said I would like to save it. So this is not a terrible time to actually go for a board wipe. Get our stuff cleared. We have a couple of melee units here that are good. We also have this ranged unit, so we will. Poison and then we'll use ability. Now, this unit will kill that, and we'll summon a melee unit to kill this. We we'll get a health back as well from our Gleedy pet, as you can see there. Good, this will be poison. This will die next turn. <clears throat> a couple good threats. Also, like I said, we want to uh, control the amount of range units that we have on the field. So because of that, we will let it go. Rather again, this poison, but that's fine. We'll continue on with our damage here. Next turn, we are going to. We're going to get a uh, health boost here. We need a little bit of a boost here, so we'll get uh, an increase in our abilities. Also summon this unit here. So it will silence, it will prevent the bleeding from happening. This will bleed in a couple turns, that's fine. It has double attack. Want to advantage by summoning some extra units to kill this off. We also want to keep this alive as much as we can. All right. Double attack is not such a big right now i want to make sure that this unit cannot 
protect us, so we'll summon this flight unit. We'll summon this flight unit actually over here. We need the poison. We need the poison yet. We're just putting in the flight unit so that we can make damage. Looks like this unit will actually survive because we just lost our other unit from bleeding. Looking like we might have to switch off to pirate because their units are starting to overwhelm pretty hard. Shuffle, see. Well, we'll use our flight unit. Kill this unit, get some health back. There's a little bit of pentagram damage, as you can see here, for these other units, and then our ranged units are going to take damage whenever this unit attacks. And again, this Shamuna has the shards that are going to be giving us problems, so. Better damage in. Push. Hard. Going to be summoning. Let's see. Attack. Another shuffle so you can You can save this for later in terms of dealing damage to their units. Let me see anything else. So probably just needs to just trash some units at this point. So And as you can see, soon. that's fine. Didn't do a lot of damage right now, just not a lot of board coverage available. We did have that big transform in the very beginning, so that actually messed up our units that we had. So we will switch back to pirate. And our strategy there is just to make sure that we can take their units off the board. If this one doesn't go well, we will spend some attempts. We'll spend some gems in order to get attempts for this. So not a big deal. Gotta make sure that we have ready. Okay. Uh, pentagrams in decent spots. Have one in front of our building here, so we can actually get some coverage. It's this line here, and then these two over here. Front. Uh, we'll start by going down here in terms of damage. Also, I had seen before, uh, someone else had said, if you want to uh, draw their units down here, it'll be easier so that the Shimuna, if the Shimuna spawns on top, the shards will come down on the bottom, and that'll actually mess up the, uh, what do you call the, the ranged, um, sorry, the, the shards will come here, and then it'll be easier for them to actually summon and kill here. Uh, we're going to continue on and uh, summon this unit in terms of the stats. This is going to be better. We'll summon this unit here. That is good defense, also good attack. This unit is going to take some pentagram damage, but it will end up killing this unit because of their battle ability here. We're going to continue to go low and see if we can control the board that way. OK, so that is dead. Continue on. Okay. We have this unit here that whenever it attacks, it will deal damage to us with their second ability. And then it'll also give a boost to their ranged units. And then whenever uh, it's attacked, it will summon a copy. So let's back off now. Um, All right, we will use a shuffle to get some ranged units that are ribbons. Oh, 
Okay, uh, let's see. We will. I uh, will use a shuffle. Okay. okay, that is a good one here. Uh, we do have our own Shumuna, so that's good. The only problem is we can't summon shards because we have these runes blocking the way. So if they are able to actually kill this, then we are all set. All right, we'll space up the damage once again. I want to make sure that we can get as much damage in as possible. And again, we do need them to actually draw to kill either this building or for us to make a summon over here. Okay, some more extra damage. It's not great. Okay, uh, we might actually die from this unit alone. It's going to be dealing the 94, so we do need to find either a flight unit or... Yeah, we need to find a flight unit or something that can either silence this or... Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that, okay, that does make a lot of sense. All right, we'll, we'll shuffle and see if we can get... Okay, we did pick up a flight unit, so that's good. Uh, in terms of stats, this will be the better one. Up here. Okay, so as you can see, the copy came into play. It dies. Not good. All right, this unit, because it has the copy ability, it will also start dealing damage to us. Our priority is to make sure that we can clear out this unit. I'm probably going to follow up with one of these range units in order to kill this. All right, once again, some of the units in question. We're going to do our summons. Get some good blocks. That'll kill that. This unit has double attack and it actually has evasion too, so that's not good. Manage. Um, some more block, so once again, getting the flight. Yeah, okay, I can I can actually try uh wait wait, do you mean ogre this turn? Uh sorry for this boss or ogre for the next boss. So this unit's gonna die. Still need some flight in it. Ugh. One more. Yeah, we'll dig for a flight, flight unit. If we can't go for a flight unit, then we'll see if we can get a ranged unit here. We got neither. Okay, so we just got the range unit. Image. All right, the timer did kill our our units because we had the range. So that's fine. This uh this large unit here had be a lot of um a lot of damage. Okay, uh, but we did see that pirate did do slightly better, so we will continue over there. Spend some credits. Okay, once again, pentagrams. Who's going to be taking care of? Move on. We'll start with this unit as a health boost whenever it comes into play. Then when it deals damage, it will gain attack. If we you know, get transformed or silenced, then we'll go from there. Our backup plan is to summon the ranged unit down here. Okay. Uh, to actually focus more on damage, not really be concerned so much about this particular unit, even though it did kill us last time. Uh, we just want to make sure that we can pile in the damage. Ongoing. Something does block this lane, then we'll find some way to get rid of some stuff. Okay, uh, continuing on, find something to. Holes. 
That's actually, ooh, this is not bad at all. Um, so we'll summon this unit has flight, also gives reborn to one of our units, and then whenever one of our units dies, it will get, um, it will do a damage rune on their side. We're going to summon it here once again to make sure that we can get some sort of, uh, what do you call, defense for it if we need to. And then we also have this unit under control for now. All right, the turn counter is at two, so we will need to kill as many of their units for next turn. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, well, that's fine. That's fine. This unit's going to die. Uh, let's see if we can get some more here. We need our reborn. Sorry, we don't need those other units. This unit will die from combat. It can actually die. Well, we'll summon our sharks. Yeah, those are good spots. Uh, we'll continue by not eat. This unit does this unit have splash? It does not. I do want to be able to deal damage with it. I have to go backwards in order to get this done. 39, 39 plus. Uh, weird play, but we're going to summon this unit here. Deals damage to every unit on the board. Kills that. Okay, it's unfortunate that this unit is going to have evasion, but it's pretty much out of the way. And we did want to give reborn to at least one good unit. In this case, it's actually this one. Really nice because when it dies, it also deals damage to them. Okay, you there, kill the ancient, kill that unit, and kill that unit too. Yeah, I would have done that because uh, I mean, I don't want to deal damage to my own units, but at the same time, if I'm able to wipe out their board, I, I will gladly take that. Let's see here. I know that there's bleeding, but none of these units are affected by bleeding, so we can attack there. Uh, we will continue on by summoning as many. Uh, as many melee units as possible. And in terms of stats, this would be the best one. Going down here. When this unit dies, it will deal damage to a wounded enemy. So, see if we can just get some reborn on our. I didn't want to put it here because I'm going to lose, I'm going to take some damage that I don't necessarily need. Okay, uh, so there's a pentagram here. This is going to dock in combat. Now we just need to deal, was it 103 damage? It's not an easy feat. Let's still do it somehow. Heroes, yeah, get plus 14. So, one, two, so plus 14. We deal on 90 ish. So we'll go for a shuffle. Okay, uh, this one's good. Uh, this unit has flight. It also deals damage whenever a male unit dies on their side of the field. So a little bit of damage over there. Okay. Clear damage over there. Uh, I forgot about the timers. Ugh. Okay, so we did take a little bit of damage. We did also lose our reborn uh, unit as well. Uh, that's unfortunate, but uh, still good coverage. Oh, they will. Oh, you Uh, anyways, sorry about that. That was a little bit of interruption. Okay. Uh, well, okay. We've got some pentagram damage over there. Good. Clear this out. Do we have any other units that we need to come in? Uh, in terms of stats, yeah, man, that was that was whack. I don't even know what was going on. Uh, we'll summon this unit here. Has uh, good health. Also, we'll heal units, and then we'll do damage over there. Also combos off with our summon ability with the uh, giving a attack boost to melee units. And once again, we want to make sure that we can so okay, there is a counterattack over here, and we're actually in good shape because evasion will not matter. So damage will come in, there'll be a counterattack, and then there'll be pentagram damage, which is good. 
follow up with. We just can't, uh, we can't kill this outright. So never mind. We'll continue by summoning this melee unit over. Okay. Damage over there. That's grand damage. Good. A bonus of the um, the APEP, the flying unit over here, when they created these runes, it actually stops the shards from coming into play. So because of that, we're able to avoid divine shield that could have come up. But the units are going to have bleed. And uh, let's see here, can we deal, can we deal lethal damage to kill that? So that's good. Uh, bleed is not going to... Coming once again. As a double attack. Also got our health back. That's good. And a little bit of healing. Uh, next turn, we'll probably be, be doing this boost in order to set up for potential lethal. Otherwise, we'll be okay with these boosts coming up. So this unit's going to die due to bleeding. It is. Uh, all right, we will summon unit just for the attacking, killing that, killing that, killing that, and killing that. Yeah, let's see that one unit itself is very pesky in terms of the board coverage. So we do need to make sure that we can clear off their uh, multi summoners. But it was unfortunate now. Uh, they were able to summon a shard on the bottom, so because of that. We'll need to on. Um, I want to use this. Yeah, I think I will use this. I'll use this because, uh, so let's get our boost right off the bat. Let's get a little bit of damage going in. We're also going to summon this unit as the double attack. Uh, and also, whenever one of their units dies, it will still attack as well. I'm going to over here. Uh, because this unit is going to die once the counterattack comes in. Get our damage in as much as we can. Okay, uh, double attack is now given to this unit. Uh, most likely, so when this unit attacks, it will create a shard over here, unless they summon a melee unit. Okay, that unit died. Okay, uh, have our double attack. I have our unit over here. Well, that was that. We need it. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, so the double attack will come in. We'll do combat damage enough to kill this and then kill this unit. Then is all of it. So I guess their buildings will also get creation too. So we'll summon this unit, has good, decent stats, has spikes. Also, we'll get an attack boost as well. Unit died because of the timers, and I do need to factor that in for the next battles coming in. Okay, Let's see a lot of damage going. A bit more going. Do a little bit of something here. So we have this unit here that whenever it attacks, it will give Mist to two of their random units. We'll just go for a little bit of stall. Uh, we could actually use this for a different lord, though. So, yeah. Nah, you know what? Here, we'll just we'll do this instead. Do that, and then we'll just use we'll summon some of our crash units right now. Uh, prepare for the next attempt. All right, sun death, and then once again, just using up some trash units. That. Uh, 
Okay, as you can see, about 2,000 damage, so that's good. We'll use another attempt, get it in, and we'll clear it out this time. All right, so once again, pentagrams, and then decent, decent pentagram coverage, especially down with these two bottom rows. So we'll be able to get some more coverage going in. We'll start by summoning this range unit behind here, get a little bit of defense. These spots are still open for the sharks in a couple turns, so that's good. And then we'll use some shuffles to get more ranged units out. Okay, I uh, landed on the pentagram, which is fine. We lose a little bit of our units, so you on. To avoid the damage here, we will need to not summon a range unit for the time being, so we'll just hold off for that. Summoning our melee unit over here. This unit's going to die next turn. And so good. You do have an option to just summon this outright in order to kill the other unit. Again, not necessary. These un two units will die from pentagrams. Good. Our range unit. Right. And then next turn we'll do the summon with the sharks and figure out what we're doing. Okay, they summoned the unit here that creates the zombies. So that's actually good that we saved our sharks. We'll just here. Couple for a ranged unit, which we get. Not a great ranged unit, but ranged unit nonetheless. More damage coming in. Got a little bit of health back. Oh, got a attack boost. <laughs> good for us. Okay, well, as you can see, uh, Missy, attack, uh, Missy Overwatch wasn't that bad. We got a little bit, uh, got a little bit flustered with the other uh, summoning units, but that's fine. All right now we're on the Killing Smile. Uh, this one has come up before, but they did tweak uh, some of the abilities before. Um, uh, they used to give silence, and now the turn counter is actually quicker. So end of turn gives plus attack to their chaos units. Uh, every third turn, kill one of our units, and then every fifth turn kills all of all of our units. So let's just get right into it. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we'll we'll try it out with pirate first, and then we'll then switch to spider, and then I also heard a ogre might be a good choice. So we'll go from there. All right, damage. Okay, uh, building spikes. We'll give our unit spikes. Okay, uh, just kill us, and then plus plus health. Uh, ugh, I don't like this particular line right here. There's a lot of. Uh, and these runes are small, but they will start to affect us later. Uh, we will start by this okay. You not here. We'll we'll change plan. We'll start by summoning down here. Uh, so this unit has flight. It also gives us health whenever we are attacked, and then when one of our nature units dies, we'll get an attack boost. Uh, we started going down here in order to gain control of these bottom rows in case there are other random units that we need to be concerned about. Okay, uh, we did start with that unit over there. Okay, uh, deals damage whenever it dies, and then it deals damage to us whenever we get attacked. Our pentagram enough, so 64, we need to 80. We do not have 80s here. Uh, we have 80 over here, though. That'll be for that. For that. So as you can see, it's a little bit of an attack boost. Dies, dies, fine. Uh, we have a lot of these order melee units. Uh, it would be nice to actually combo off for later, but again, can't do that. Okay, I did hear that Neelan was going to be an issue. So, got the pentagrams over there. Thank for that. We need to draw a ranged unit to actually kill this unit. It creates these, those spawns that you saw, they have poison. And then also whenever we summon a unit, we'll also be poison as well. So let's see what we get. So you do see the counter, the Turn counter is low here, so one of our units will die. Unfortunately, it'll probably be this due to RNG. 
Let's see what we need. Okay, best case scenario right now is that we do our summon. Okay, we can kill that. And then uh, only if we have one more bit of damage. Some way to. Okay. So there is a chance that we do actually kill this unit. 33% uh, chance that we get our kill. Uh, we can go for. Uh, you know, we, we'll take a risk. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. We have the poison, poison room right here. Not even. So we killed that. Forgot about that poison room. So it actually would have dealt lethal damage anyways. Otherwise, we needed the double attack in order to land on the shark here to kill the bush and then deal damage, but that's fine. Uh, died. The died was the shark. Okay, so they have this unit right here. Whenever, uh, when it first comes into play, it deals, it gives ability that deals damage to us whenever one of our units dies around there. Then we'll deal damage at the beginning, and then also see the units around. See if we can draw a silence. Otherwise, we'll just be going for damage here. Uh, bleeding would be nice, but it won't. Where's the bleeding? Pretty. I don't know. Seeing that we won't have enough damage for those two, we're actually going to just go for damage all together. Uh, well, over here, give them a little bit of bleeding, take a little bit of damage, that's fine. Doesn't look like we're going to be killing this in combat unless we have some other ability. So we're just going to maximize on damage if we can. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we have this unit that steals attack and then also has a double attack. Take some more damage, and then this will die from pentagrams in two turns. We'll summon up here. Gives a little bit of a health boost. Uh, also has immunity, and then we'll get healed whenever attacks. Good. We have a unit that deals damage to our, our ranged units. Fine. One of our units is also going to die as well. So we got Pentagrams. Uh, well, summon this unit has the Ability to deal damage when it dies. I'm seeing gets a little bit of health, also triggers that ability. We did know that uh, it would die from the timer, so that's fine. More damage in. I guess we could have killed this unit if we absolutely had to. That's fine. That is absolutely going for damage. Here, a little bit of protection. Okay, uh, some more protection over here. Okay, we can kill this, uh, but then this unit will deal damage so over here. Uh, seeing if we can, we're going to draw, seeing if we can find anything else. Okay, yeah, this is actually not bad. Uh, we will deal 36. 36 attack. So that will put it at 70. No, that won't be enough. We'll summon this unit. When it comes into play, it has the metal shield given to us. Deal enough damage over there. Okay, that unit will die. That unit will die too. We actually might be able to take this board back with this particular unit. Assuming we don't take enough lethal damage. Okay. 
All right. So this unit will die from pentagrams. Uh, this unit will die from Well, summon this unit has the double attack. Got a little bit of health, and then also be through. That's fine. Okay, so we did take lethal damage, which is okay. I am probably still going to stick with this pirate uh, for later. Uh, as you can see now, we have about two days to beat this, but we don't need the legendary chests anymore. I'm going to open up for our third legendary chest, which we do have over here. Obtain that, get it out of the way. Moving on with. Right. Switching back to our warlords that we're going to need with the pets that we also. Some stuff. Okay. Right here, we have to defeat a boss. Go defeat a boss. All right, we have a couple of abilities I can see here. The first one here is whenever we summon a nature unit, we will take damage to that unit. And then whenever they're on the second turn, we'll see them summon a mini Tesla X. A mini Tesla X usually deals damage whenever a unit dies on our side of the field, and then also it will give an attack boost at the end of the turn. Fine. We don't have too many nature units in our, our squad, so we don't have to worry so much about that. Now you can see probably a two-turn kill going on with a uh, board wipe, and then also with this unit here. And whenever one of our units dies, they'll take damage. Okay. As you can see, we're taking a little bit of damage off of the selects. Now, this unit also gives Metal Shield whenever one of their units dies. Ideally, we don't want the Metal Shield to land on one of these units because we want them to die and also deal damage to them. Uh, going to what? As you can see, we took a little bit of damage over there, but that's fine. Okay. Now on to chapter three. A little bit of your favorite text over here. You can also check it out in your gallery. We have another boss to beat. Add a new chest. So as you can see, they have their two abilities. Whenever one of their units are attacked, we'll take damage. And then whenever they are attacked, the attack will be given to them. Once again, we'll start with our here that creates the spawns. Going to get extra attack here whenever they kill something. But again, not going to be <laughs> excuse me, not going to be too much of an issue. I can see another two turn kill coming up, possibly three if we don't end up drawing our previous unit. Unit creates spawns, so that'll be good for us. Bonds. Your instruction ability. The boss down. Okay. 
Okay, I was hoping we'd have more sparks for this next one. So as you can see here, we have in chapter three, he opened the legendary chest in event shop four times. We only have 13K, each chest is 5K. So we'll need to roll some good stuff. Oh. Okay, great. Okay, that's also not great. We are getting the minimum of the rewards off of these chests right now. Step two, we're going to open up this bonus chest. Usually the bonus chests will give you sparks. Sometimes they'll give you extra cards. Either one is fine. Uh, if we don't get sparks, then we'll need to grind out uh, about 6,300 more sparks, which we'll do later. Ugh. Okay. See, not, not great chests. So we'll have to hold off for now. Uh, yeah, we'll hold off for now. So we're going to be streaming again on Monday at 7 a.m. Uh, we'll also be doing some of this other Mighty Party stuff in the meantime so we can continue on with the event. And uh, yeah, we'll also cover some other things. I think Divine Arena is going to be set in about a day. Oh, next couple of hours. So we'll be posting another video with the new Divine Arena coming out. Uh, so yeah, so if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or concern, leave a message at the Twitch channel. You can also go to the YouTube channel and uh, check out the past videos. We also have other videos with Dark Tower and some of the other events as well. And then we also have explains, which are basically, if there are certain things about Mighty Party, like pets or Dark Tower or any of the, the modes, they should be covered there. Uh, so yeah, this has been Happy Splash. Signing off.